Hey everyone, I'm Shanti Felton. I am so excited to share with you a resource I developed for women and women's groups called Find Balance. It is our hope that you'll find this a wonderful resource for your women's ministry and your small group. So what is it? It's an eight part video series and a companion workbook to give women like us a blueprint for how to find balance in our modern, crazy busy lives from a totally biblical perspective. This study was originally released under the title, The Life Ready Woman, as a companion to my book by that name. And in the seven years since then, the need for this message has only grown. So we are re-releasing it now as Find Balance since that's what we're looking for. And we want women to know that biblical balance is possible, even in our do-it-all world. Every woman knows the feeling of not having enough hours in the day and running ourselves a bit ragged. We're balancing family and kids, maybe a husband and work and chores and our activities, their activities and church. It can be exhausting, but God does not want us to be exhausted or stressed or torn. It turns out that in the pages of this ancient book, there is a blueprint that applies to our lives today a pattern and a standard that we can look to and respect as modern women. Once you see this blueprint unfold, I think you, like me, are gonna be so relieved that there really is a way to live a balanced life without feeling stressed and torn. It's all about understanding and following God's design and His callings on our lives and operating with that rather than contrary to that. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or a busy executive, this study and this encouraging, life-giving blueprint will show you how to chart your course so that you know how to balance all the competing demands of your life in any season and thrive. This will help any woman find clarity about her life's direction, about her priorities, about her relationships, using the Bible as her compass. Please share this video and this Find Balance sampler with others. I think you and the women of your church will be so glad you did.